Hi YouTube. So I was actually going to make a video on the new patch of the DLC because I figured Wooly and Disputed did a good enough job of it. But I figured that if I'm going to make videos on the negative stuff about the DLC, uh, like I did with my apology video and stuff like that, I need to make content on the positive stuff as well. Because I don't, I hate the idea of only having negative stuff out there in the community to see. I need the community to see all the good stuff as well. And this patch is actually really good. They did a really good job. There's, I'll be very clear, we have a long way to go. There's a lot of bugs still, a lot of issues, but like the real main core stuff that needed to be fixed got fixed and it made the feel feel so much better. Now, I'm not going to go into every single one of these. There's quite a long, long patch notes feel. There's a lot here, right? Which is great. Uh, they, did, they did a lot to make the game better. Um, so I'm just going to go through the ones that I feel are important and I touch on the ones touch the ones that I think are important and explain why I feel like they're important. So the first big one being they resolved all the bugs tied with FPS. So resolved a bug with the builds a compiler that led to many behaviors being erroneously tied to FPS. These elements include physics, attack speed and movement, blah, blah, blah. They got rid of the FPS bugs, which was huge. That was like one of the biggest things, knowing that when I was playing the game, I had to tune down my PC to 60 frames per second to get close to what it was designed to be. That was a real big one. That was like one of those ones that really sat in the back of your mind and really, really irked at you and just made, like you can't have fun knowing that like you are getting a worse experience by having higher FPS. Like we play on PC for a reason, right? Like obviously if it's console and that, I understand that, but that's a big one. I'm really, pre I'm really glad they fixed that. Uh, they fixed the warped echo issue. They worded it weird because it was the warped echo mixed with the chronic expansion. But anyway, Mythics is no longer invincible with warped echo, which is fantastic. Akin utility skills, both caustic leap and frenzied leap we're not dealing damage and colliding. This was a big feel one too. Like you can't, you couldn't jump at an enemy and have it do damage anymore, which was insane. So that's been fixed, thankfully. They fixed the issue with your items going crazy when you had a, uh, what's it called, an aspect. Dude, I saw this video here and the first thing I looked at, I was like, I bet when this zooms out, I guarantee there's an aspect in, lo and behold, ah, aspect, <laughs> aspect. So I'm assuming they fixed aspects because like they didn't say that they fixed the aspect doing that. They said they fixed the bug. But like, I haven't seen an aspect of test yet, so I'm not sure. Uh, they added item highlights again. Thank God, that's a huge one. This one here, this honestly, if I had to pick one thing, and this might sound weird, this might sound weird to some people, but if I had to pick one thing to fix, it's this, dude, this. Like so much of like the more like experienced players, the people who've been playing this game for longer than others, the people have like, and I, and maybe this is just like a, like a me thing or like yeah, just a content creator thing, but like, I play this game like 40 hours a week, right? I play it a lot. I play this game a lot. And to have such a core thing like the, the damage indicators and the low health feedback, have that changed? And like the health bars as well, how they were going down real slowly. Have that changed? You don't realize how much that impacts just like the constant feel of the game. Every time you're getting hit by something, like it feels off. And you get hit by things pretty often, risk of rain too. There's a lot of enemies shooting around, a lot of wisps, a lot of burn, a lot of Lemurians, a lot of things like hitting you, right? But every time that happens, it feels wrong. And that just sort of like eats at you. Like, yeah, like every single time it felt different. I'm like, oh, this feels weird. So this one to me is huge. Like this alone, after playing yesterday, because I streamed the patch yesterday for like what, five, six hours, or something like that. This alone made me instantly feel better instantly feel better i love this one this one is huge and in saying that with this one obviously again comes with this one as well the health bar is updating really slowly that's been fixed too thankfully so that's another again big big normal game vibe feels that completely completely just eat at you the entire time you play when they just feel weirdly different for no reason and on that same note fixing this one here as well the house here on beacons being weird texture that's just one that pulls you out of it right like you play this game to be immersed and then you see something like this and like oh Nothing rips you out quicker from the immersion of a good game than seeing a clear texture being wrong. Like a half black, half gold house on beacon. That was driving me crazy. Another really important one I think is good for the crowd. They fixed the bolstering lantern in the logbook. Uh, they made it so it actually can be unlocked now properly without sitting there flashing like you got a new logbook. That was driving me crazy. In saying that, this was fixed, but it relocked a lot of my other items for some reason, which isn't a big deal. Like, I'll just get them again later, it doesn't matter. But getting rid of that yellow flashing, like, I, I know I speak for everybody when I say this. <laughs> getting rid of that yellow flashing new button on top of the logbook is... <laughs> that's huge. That was driving me and everybody else absolutely insane. So thank you for that one. They fixed the Imp Overlord Void Spikes now too, so they actually deal damage. You can't just walk through them on the ground anymore. That's a really good one too. 
They, uh, I already find myself finding them threatening again now where before, like, you just, as long as you weren't directly under them, they couldn't do anything to hurt you. Let's <laughs> walk over the spikes. This is a strange one, dude. Gaining multiple warped echoes and heretic led to infinite stacks on item buff being added to the player. I didn't know this was a thing, but if anyone that experienced this, that's wild. That's, this here, that's insane, actually. I had no idea. The Warped Echo clearly had some issues. Uh, and they got rid of my Sonorous Whispers, dude. I'm so glad I did my What If Every Item of Sonorous Whispers. It'll be in YouTube soon, don't worry. I'm so glad I did that before they did this. And yeah, this is a, this to me is really important. Because one, I'm kind of sad they did this. Because like, I, I don't like broken stuff, but I like broken fun stuff. And Sonorous Whispers was a really good example of broken fun stuff. Like 15% is way too high, <laughs> way too high. But like, it was fun, dude. Like, it was really, really fun. They figured out get a dumb run. Was it balanced? No. Do I think it needed to be nerfed? Yes. Am I sad they nerfed it? Also, yes. I really liked that, but it was really fun. But, but mainly this, to me, shows that they are looking at items and they're looking to buff items. One of the big issues of the DLC still is the items don't feel like they're very good. And they don't feel like they're strong enough and they don't feel like they have many synergies as well. Apart from NG, half the items work fantastic on NG turrets and nothing else. But this to me gives me a lot of hope because this shows me that they, they, they are looking at items and are willing to work on the item skills. So this is actually a really big one to me. Also fixing the issue where the music would just stop in the player. Well, it didn't actually stop for me. For me, it just cranked the volume to 11. So I don't know. So it sounds like that's been fixed as well. So at least we can look at the logbook now without being, uh, being scarred. And this one, again, this one is huge to me. A lot of these give me better vibes than the actual fixes they are, which I don't know if that makes sense, but I'll explain it anyway. So this is them saying that they addressed an issue where it wouldn't work properly with over than four player multiplayer, which they are directly saying here that they don't actually support, but they know the community will do it. So they're saying that they, the game doesn't actually support that, but they are in touch with the community enough to know that people will, and they've still made it so that works. So that's actually that there, that is a huge gesture to me. That's them saying like, we like we don't have this in the game normally, we know you are going to do this, So he is like, it's like a responsible parent. <laughs> If you're gonna drink, drink uh, under my roof or something so I know you're safe. Like, <laughs> I don't know, is that responsible? I'm not a parent. Um, but this is what this reminds me of. It, it's like, well, we know you're gonna do this, so here's a, a responsible and a safe way. We made it possible for you to do it now. So that's, I think that's really good. That's showing that they listen to the community. This is one thing that this whole patch thing really gives me the vibe of that they're listening to the community, which is really like giving me like a beacon of hope again. Like, it's like for the people working on the DLC, I, they're, they're in the right hands. I don't know, man. It, it just gives me that bit of like, mm, bit of hope again. I don't know. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm naive. I don't know. This one does wonders for me. And uh, little fixes on survivors like uh, Railgunner, the concussion. I don't actually get to try this one out, but concussion mine apparently just didn't blow up sometimes. Little things like that. Like, that's good. That's good. That shows they can work on it. And on that same note, it's a little bit sad, but <laughs> this one, they addressed a bug that allowed players to permanently fire false sun laser of the father ability. It will now go and cool down to fire for up to four seconds. Uh, like this, I knew this patch was coming. Like I addressed this in like my false sun guide. I said, once this is patched, I think that the two different specials will pretty much be on par if they fix the pierce of the other special ability. But, but this needed to be done. It needed to be done. It's sad because I, again, it was a fun bug. I enjoyed it. It was silly to play with. I don't hold it in the same like level as Sonorous Whispers. Sonorous Whispers are fun item here sometimes. This is uh, an ability you click once and you can shoot it forever, which is dumb. It's like, again, it was fun to play with when it was there, but I'm glad it's gone. And in saying that, also, with things I'm glad they've added, this is like a big, 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 big gripe for me with Chef. Look, Chef has a lot of work, all right? Chef needs a lot of work. <laughs> I'm hoping they add some stuff to Chef, but this here, adding the visual effect for Chef's dice ability, huge. Later stages, like with so many enemies and so many projectiles and different visual effects going on, you can't see your cleaver. So adding this little, this little highlight here is big. Something that I asked for like immediately. I'm so glad that they added it. Like they didn't add it with I asked, but like everyone would have been asking for it, I imagine. But um, this is big. I like this. I like this. And saying that, Chef, he needs his M1 needs a rework. His M1's terrible. He's still. If you're listening, Gibbo, <laughs> please, please just make it an auto attack. Please make his M1 an auto attack <laughs> because having to re-click to bring him back is fine for close enemies. But if there's an enemy like 20 meters away, I have to click. Click, 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 
quick. And if I want to kill that thing quickly, well, I'm shit out of luck. <laughs> it's really not good. I know some people like it. If you like it, that's great. But uh, I think I speak for the majority. Well, at least I know for my stream anyway. It's a bad, it's not, it needs to be buffed. It needs to be buffed. Please, please buff it. Speaking of buffs, please move the M1 proc coefficient from 0 0.5 to like 0 0.7. 7.5 maybe? I know it hits twice sometimes, but like 0 0.75? That's fair, right? Not 0 0.5. <laughs> That's so low, dude. And they fixed Acrid as well. There's a lot of like character fixes in here, which is really giving me hope for the future as well. They fixed um, Acrid, Frenzied, Leap. This is actually for both his leaps, but you, do, you took four damage before. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was both. I can't remember which one's called, but I did a run the other day with like the uh, the non-band Pokemon. I forget what they're called, man. I don't know. I like nearly 5,000 hours. I don't know the names. <laughs> I don't know. But when you leaped with Acrid, you would take four damage, which is... <laughs> that one's huge. A bang huge. That's such a big issue. But I fixed that. Thank you. Oh, thank God. Thank God. <laughs> Acrid's janky enough with his jumps. He doesn't need to take four damage all the time as well. That's a big one too. But yeah, in saying that, those are the ones that I feel are important. Like there's a lot more. There's plenty in here. It's like it's a big, big, big patch. They're the ones that stood out to me the most and the ones that I thought had the most value to them. And again, maybe I'm being a little bit naive here, but seeing this has really reinforced to me that the people that are making the DLC, the people behind the game that clearly care about the game, they, well, they care about the game. They, they, I think we're in good hands here. There's, we talked about earlier with like discussion with like, when I was in with the call with the guys, with like Dio, Woolly and Post and Race. We talked about how there's a clear disconnect between people making the game and the people forcing the game out. But clearly, like, there's not, there's not, there's the communication there which isn't like one side doesn't care about the other one, which is very, very apparent. Does this restore my faith in Gearbox, the company? No, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't because I do not have faith in one, Randy Pitchford, <laughs> the CEO, <laughs> Randy, <laughs> uh, and whoever is below him is still the higher up of the company. But do I have faith in this small niche group of people that are working on our game? Yes. Yes, I do. I really, really do. Especially the people that I, I, I've been in contact with Gearbox. Like, the, they, I see firsthand how much they care and how much they are trying to make this work and how much they're trying to fix this. So, like, I have a lot of, I, I don't know. Again, maybe I'm being naive, but I have faith now in the future of this, of this game. I play, again, I played this patch for about six hours yesterday and I felt good. The only time I didn't feel good was playing Chef in his goddamn M1. Oh. Flying enemies, dude. Flying enemies are the worst on Chef, man. Like, it's just so bad. <laughs> and I can only hear the comments, oh, it's a skill issue. Oh, it's a skill issue. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> anyway, those are my thoughts on the patch notes. Um, I think they're really good. Let me know what you think. Let me know how you feel. Uh, I think this is a really good sign. I think this is a really, really, really good sign. I like the direction we're headed now. They got this out so fast. Like, that was like the big thing. I. <laughs> I had a down patch video coming out yesterday explaining how to down patch the game. And I still think it's good to be able to down patch and play both because you can have both at once, which is really cool. Maybe I'll release a video on how to like have both patches running at the same time or something. Anyway, I don't know. But like I was gonna release that yesterday and the patch came out. I'm like, well, I can't release this now. So I'm like, oh, I'll play the patch. If it's still bad, I'll release it. But like the patch is good. It's good. It's restored enough of the game where like I feel comfy playing it again. Like I like it. I like it's there's still a lot of issues. Like the elites are still spawning like crazy. The uh, the gilded enemies are insanely tanky. Uh, Mythrix pizza audio is still stupidly desynced. Like there's missing parts of the arena, random parts of the map added, take it away. There's, there's lots of bugs still, but the, the a big chunk of what was making it feel off has been remedied, which is amazing. So anyway, that's my thoughts. Let me know how you feel. Let me know what you think. Am I wrong? Am I stupid? Blah, blah, blah. Uh, let me know in the comment. Anyway, guys, thanks for being here. You guys are the best. Love lots. I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.